And welcome everyone. We are dealing with beautiful sunshine again here on our Thursday. Notice some of the fall colors starting to pop in a few trees. And we're going to see that more and more as the days move forward. So looking at the state right now, if you're curious about the fall colors, on a scale of one to five, we have a two in the yellow across the western part of the state. For us, we're a three out of five. Now you get into the oranges here and the deeper shade of browns, if you will. That's a four out of five. And then you have a couple areas that are at peak. And so those are the red spots. So real spotty. But once you get to this three like we're at right now, that moderate category, the fours and fives come pretty quickly. So if you're looking for opportunities to do some leaf peeping, this weekend will be spectacular for it. Mainly Saturday and Sunday as we'll have slightly cooler temperatures to be a be able to get out there and enjoy maybe go for a hike warm here on friday though we're going to be close to 80 degrees there is a cold front moving through friday night now we could get an isolated storm as that begins to approach after 7 p.m real hit or miss here most of us will stay dry fall sunshine then sets up a few lingering clouds into saturday morning but by saturday afternoon should be great and then we'll be clear through sunday a more powerful system late next week 46 degrees waking up in berea and we'll be around 43 here in Richmond, 41 in Stanton. And looking at daytime highs, again, a chance of an isolated storm after 7 p.m. Again, you're 80 degrees, 82 in Irvine. And Beattyville also at 82, Lexington around 80. And so the record high is 83, getting pretty close to that territory. Looking ahead then, maybe some lingering clouds or an isolated shower early Saturday morning. But by the afternoon, we should clear. And overnight lows could be flirting with some frost out here Saturday night and again Sunday night.